Okay, so now we've looked at getting the images loaded and stretched, and so let's do two more. So this is the next batch here is the shortwave infrared. This pulls uh, bands 8, 6, and 4 from the HDF file, and then makes the matrix as before, does the histogram equalization, and makes uh, an image in figure 3, uh, or displays it. And then the other one we'll do is the thermal infrared, pulls bands 13, 12, and 10 from the HDF file. So now remember we're heading way out to uh, thermal infrared and these bands are uh, diagnostic for silicates especially and um, what the way we're going to process it, quartzites or quartzites rocks will tend to be bright red, basaltic rocks will be blue, granites are purple violet and carbonates are greenish yellow. So do the same, the, the only thing is instead of doing our histogram equalization we're going to do a different stretch that's called a decorrelation stretch. It's a pretty standard remote sensing uh, stretch that, that even does more of a um, stretching of the image, the colors, and, and almost makes them uh, really gives us the widest range of, of color space to display our, our differences in. And uh, so you'll see that this is quite powerful. And this little, so you just give it the matrix that you had made before. The to TOL is for tolerance and 0 0.01 is a kind of a little, gives a little information about how it should should perform. And we, we make it that one in, in figure four. So let's, let's go ahead and run this. It's gonna show all of them. Okay, so here's figure figure three. This is the shortwave infrared. One thing you can see that it's it's doing a pretty good job of kind of differentiating uh, some of the different uh, sedimentary rocks that are out here in the painted desert and that's because it's quite sensitive to the clay uh, composition and then here is the thermal which is in this kind of classic green to red which is what the decorrelation stretch uh, gives us and you can see here it's actually kind of washed out the lava flow which is kind of bluish but it shows quite well the variation in, in some of the sedimentary units. So again making the point that when you do image processing you're kind of uh, getting quite a bit more by using multiple band combinations and, and kind of choosing the ones that, that help make the, the differentiation that is most helpful to answer the question that you're after.